What up tribe? Coming in today on this Thursday to uh, talk about foam rolling and uh, why we should be foam rolling as often as we possibly can. So I'll give you a little background on why we foam roll. Um, give a little science behind the matter. Your muscles, okay, are covered in jackets, right? They're spindles. And these spindles, they, they're like, a, it's kind of like a, a Russian nesting doll. Like there's one spindle and then there's another one on top of it and there's another one on top of it. And those spindles help us flex or extend, right? That's what muscles do. They flex and extend. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is why we need to have a foam roller um, just to help us to keep those uh, muscles from tightening up, right? When we feel like, oh, we're tight, we're sore, um, we want to make sure that we're helping to break those muscles up a little bit. And that's what we're going to do. Now, my illustration today is I have four jackets on right now. Now, with the jackets, they're going to illustrate the, the muscle itself, okay? So your muscles, when they get tight after working out, maybe the day after or two days after, they get really tight and you can barely move and barely walk, right? We're like, oh my gosh, going to the bathroom hurts, okay? Now, what the foam roller does is it helps to break apart the muscle. So, imagine if I'm foam rolling, I'm going to take off, not take off the muscle, but the idea is that I'm loosening the muscle and I'm getting back my healthy range of motion where actually I can move around a little bit to where now foam rolling should be done before workout or after workout. So with today's illustration, I want to think about, I want a foam roller at least for one minute along. Okay. So I'm going to foam roll for one minute. And again, why it's important that we foam roll for at least one minute is to help break up that healthy tissue, okay? So imagine my, uh, my back has muscles now, right? It's a beautiful muscular right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and foam roll my back for one minute. And in that time, I always wanna think about keeping myself nice and slow, all right? So my hips are off, I'm going, ooh, yeah, that felt good. I'm going back and forth, feeling that nice, slow tension. Hips are off the ground, and again, I'm foam rolling from my mid-back up to my shoulders. Now, why this is important as well is to help to increase range of motion. Healthy, healthy range of motion, especially for your upper back, we call it your T-spine or thoracic spine. It's going to help us with uh, positions such as the front rack position with a barbell, um, or let's say pressing overhead or pull-ups or stuff like that. And again, I'm making sure that anytime I do this, I'm doing it really slow. Once I find a really tight spot, I want to make sure I pause there for a good 10 seconds where I can relax and let that, let that muscle just relax back to its healthy state. Okay. So again, I'm going right, right at that minute marker. And again, going nice and slow to help me break that tissue apart and help me get back to it again. So foam rolling guys, you can do it right before workout. It's actually usually best to do that before workout. Um, because after we work out, our, our muscles are already kind of loose. Um, and again, a day after, um, especially after a, a good workout, that's going to create a lot of soreness. Okay. So today's uh, message and moral of the story is foam roll.